Hello everybody, this is my voice and welcome to my experience with Tor. It's gonna be a little different than my usual ranting, mindless stuff that I say that no one listens to anyways. But I've been playing around with this for a little bit, so I want to share with you guys my experiences with what Tor has offered. Uh, I know there's a lot of he says she says stuff out there, there's a lot of propaganda, there's all that creepy possible stories. Uh, I'm just going to tell you straight out what I've found, what I've experienced, and uh, my thoughts on it. So pretty much here it goes, uh, starting with uh, Tor itself and what I know about it. Um, now a lot of people say, hey, if you're using Tor, you got something to hide. Well, hey, that's not actually true. I can see both sides of the argument, and uh, I understand the fine line of privacy and the fine line of hiding things for the, the criminal activity of the such. Um, I enjoyed Tor because it gives you new areas to go to and explore, and I found that really interesting. Um, the people's usage of it has been fascinating too, and how. People did, did you know there's 2 million users daily that use Tor? And I thought that was pretty cool. So how do you use it? Let's just break that down really simple. I'll just, just basically show you. You need a computer. Easy peasy. You need the internet. Pretty much everyone has that right now. And all you go is do the Tor project or just type in the Onion Router or whatever into Google. You'll find it. Download it. I would suggest... Did a little bit of research because with everything out there, there's always going to be a negativity. So read the facts quickly, go over it, uh, learn how to save yourself. Like I use I use a VPN and Tor for most of the stuff I do. Maybe a little paranoid, but that's why I like it. It's a little bit slower, but boy, you're going through VPN and Tor at the exact same time. That's just me. Um, now with Tor. Uh, a lot of times I have found things that I'm not allowed to go to. <laughs> like, I have found links that are password protected, that are member only. Now, a lot of people tell you these are the red rooms, or the crush rooms, or, you know, all the scary, like, rape rooms, and you can pay to torture. I don't, I can't tell you because I never got in. I don't even know how you can buy it. Like, there's no tile, there's nothing. Like, one screen I went to, it was literally just a... A yellow screen and it said password. That was it. I, that was, that's it. They said you are you are all sorry and asking for a password. So some things you're gonna find that you're not gonna get in. Now these are could be just a group of people who want to have a conversation, or it could be something scarier, but then again you're just going off now. Uh, hold on. Not everyone on there is a criminal. There's no way with 2 million users daily that everyone's a criminal. That's just not happening. Okay? It's statistically impossible. Not impossible. It's highly improbable. So, the way I look at it with the criminal events, like, yeah, there are, you can go looking for guns and, and drugs and fake passports and buy someone's PayPal account and you can buy $100 uh, gift cards for $50. Um... Yeah, and there's even scarier places that say hard candy, cheesy pizza, and play pens. And if you don't know what those three are, you don't want to know what those three are. Just ignore that. That for people who do know, you avoid it. Other parts of the tour that I found, enjoyed using it, is I found some really cool places, to be honest with you. There was one that was just a gigantic electric library. And uh, it was thousands and thousands of books that I thought was really, really cool. Except I've always made myself a promise that I would never download anything through Tor and my VPN. That's just the way I do it. That's my rule. So unfortunately, I kind of looked at it, but I didn't download anything. I'm a little paranoid that way. Uh, there was another one. This <laughs> one kind of freaked me out. Well, it didn't freak me out. It was just very confusing. It was just a giant biohazard site. That's all it was. It's, it's a giant 
side right there. That's all it was. It was really cool, though. So you can tickle your brain in different manners. Um, there's It's a different learning how to use it. Um, there's a lot of help. There's a lot of blogs and, and facts and people who will help you. Now, of course, with everything, you've got to take things with a grain of salt because there's always that one person who's going to screw you over. You know, that jackass turned a video game like, hey, I'm lagging. What do I do? And the guy says, delete system 32. There's always that guy. There always will be that guy. Hell, sometimes I was that guy. Not proud of it, but it was funny when they did it. You got to admit, it was funny if they actually thought, you delete your system. Anyways, I'm rambling. Tor, so far for me, has been... Not like there's nothing crazy with it. I've learned some things. I've seen some things. Nothing scary. Nothing like, oh, I saw someone getting raped and killed and then like sodomized with her dad and then like burnt. No. Is there a possibility? Absolutely. To deny the fact that you have almost unlimited area to hide something. But at the same time, the way I look at it, to, to find these things, are you smarter than, like, hackers and programmers that are paid by the NSA, FBI, CIA, CSIS, and all those other ones, Interpol? No, you're not. Out of that, enjoy it, explore it, and just be safe. Talk to you guys soon.